as of the time of this video and recording, we'll be one week away from the next Galaxy Unpacked event on the 11th of August 2021. With the teaser trailer and invite Samsung showcase, we should no doubt be seeing the next generation of foldable flagships making its way. This also gives us the opportunity to look back at the current foldable flagships from Samsung. Almost a year later, how has the Z Fold 2 held up? Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy videos like this, then be sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos on Sam Mobile. With that being said, here is our long-term review of the Z Fold 2. In regards to the design and build, we were surprised and amazed just how much Samsung improved the Z Fold 2 over the first generation. We've been using the Mystic Bronze color with its clean matte satin finish, brushed metal rails, chamfered edges on a rear camera modules. Samsung really nailed it with the overall fit and finish this time round. We have to say the biggest improvement came to the Flex Hinge, which allowed the Fold 2 to be held at multiple angles in a stationary position. This fundamentally changed and improved not just the durability, but also the user experience, allowing for different viewing angles when using apps, which also changed and added more functions when using certain applications, like the native camera UI, taking video calls, and watching videos. The overall design and build quality has held up really well, and Samsung did an amazing job here. The display experience on the Z Fold 2 showed a welcome improvement for both the outer cover display and the inner folder display. The outer cover display on the first generation fold was 4.6 inches, which we can agree was a challenge to use even for basic tasks such as typing. With a 6.2 inch display and thinner bezels, the outer cover display becomes much more usable with a better viewing experience. A closer to 20 by nine aspect ratio and a high refresh rate for the outer cover display would have made the user experience even more enjoyable but hopefully we will see that improvement in the next model. The inner fold display is the real star of the show. With a 7.6 inch tablet screen form factor, Samsung added their second generation ultra thin glass material. This made the display not only stronger, but also closer to the natural feel of normal glass, giving more confidence when using it. We saw a resolution increase of 2208 by 1768 and 120Hz high refresh rate to the foldable dynamic AMOLED display. Samsung did a great job here with the improvements to the Z Fold 2 and really showcases the joys of using a foldable display. In terms of specs and performance, the Z Fold 2 is using a Snapdragon 865 Plus with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal storage with no micro SD card slot. Performance alongside a software which is running Android 11 with One UI 3.1 has been some of the best we've experienced on a Samsung flagship. The flexibility One UI 3.1 brings to the Z Fold 2 is great, from running multiple apps at the same time and saving your favorite and most used applications as app pairs alongside app continuation from the cover display to the inner display. We have to say not all apps support continuation between the outer cover display and the inner cover display. This is where we recommend GoodLock app extension, which within it, Multistar allows all apps that do not support it to work in full screen, multi-window, and continue from the outer cover display to the inner cover display and vice versa. With the split cell 4,500 mAh battery, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 is packing. The battery endurance has been great. We've hoped for faster charging beyond 25 watts, but the support to 25 watt speeds are very efficient relative to the battery size. We do of course still have wireless charging and power share. Overall, this is some of the best battery endurance we've experienced on a Samsung flagship. The camera hardware on the Z Fold 2 isn't the best, but it's been respectable. With 12 megapixels for the wide, ultra wide, and times two optical zoom on the rear, and 10 megapixels for the inner selfie display hole punch camera, and 10 megapixel for the outer cover display selfie camera. The fun in using a camera on the Z Fold 2 is not in the outright hardware performance, but the unique software experience the Z Fold 2 brings. From using a cover display as a mirror when taking pictures on the rear cameras, to using the cover display as a selfie viewfinder when taking selfies with the rear cameras, and folding the flex hinge in horizontal orientation, which changes the camera UI 
and allows for different shooting positions. We have been impressed with the experience on the Z Fold 2, especially with the improvements over the first generation. If Samsung are to carry the same energy into Unpack next week, then there are great things ahead for the next fold. Did you get a chance to use the Z Fold 2? Let us know in the comment section below and we will see you next time. Thank you.